Hello everyone, I'm Drumat and today I want to do a guide, a short guide on how to enjoy playing Tlia in the new game mode named Nexus Blitz. I hope I got that right. Uh, I'm here on Europe West in an account, a new account in which I want to level up to try my skills on that server. But that's not the point. The point is that we want to uh, talk about how we can enjoy playing Tlia in this game mode. Now, I recommend one, going smite, going jungle, two, always starting here, always starting at the ground, uh, three, um, always go for the magic pen items, so that's gonna be sword boots, obviously you're gonna finish the jungle item, then sword boots, then morello, then void stuff, and also put a rely in there somewhere, it's especially important. Now, always start here, that's the first thing you gotta do. Always start here, and the smite was used badly by me, should have used by Lucian, but whatever. And now, the key point here, playing Tlia jungle, is that you have insanely fast clears. Always use your E and keep, keep the wolves on it, you know, and also do it the big one so it explodes, so you know. And then, rights will going to be where will be very fast because your level 3 will come by now and look here look how fast it holds I'm not going to show you the build because just you have to try for yourself always here at this point you have to have to go right there see see how I'm going so always try to catch people because you can do that as Talia with W and you can uh, surprise them now here you got to steal as much as you can here we fucked up a bit uh, we got caught by their I don't know how I did them back here and why they were not focusing me, but that was a very good look shot flash as well. But here we just back off and yes, what comes and we turn it around. Not, not a problem. Not a problem. Nice W there as well. Uh, also, if you have a trash on your team, it's pretty nice. Uh, oh, Zed escapes there. I remember that. But yeah, it's, it's still fine. Here I went a little too deep, but it didn't matter. Now, let me show you the. And actually, I don't have any items to show yet, but still, look at the farms. The clear speeds are amazing. And we're going to move faster a bit, we don't need to waste time on this. Uh, the main reason you want to play Tlia, besides the fact that you can easily get kills and, you know, farm jungle, is that you have your ultimate, which in some uh, events, it's quite hilarious. You're going to see why. Uh, not in the first one. But in the next ones here, I got an easy, easy kill on Rise, and uh, I'm gonna tell you this game is not against bad players. Uh, besides one or two players in this game, everyone plays very well because I have a huge matchmaking rating on this account. Because well, uh, I I climbed, I not climbed, I won many games, and then yeah, you, you understand. So uh, knowing that uh, this game is not like against new players, this game is mostly against good players, you're going to see that Twisted Fate is going to play really well and this rise is also pretty okay, doing some mistakes there and there, but yeah, uh, still, that's not the point. Uh, here we try to get as many kills, the goal would be to survive until you get uh, empowered, so you get many kills and then you're big and you deal a lot of damage, but then you gotta be careful because they're going to target you. Uh, but still, the goal besides that is to never use your ult, never use your ult, unless there's an event starting, okay? Or you get the pentakill, that's this is the case, but come on, when will you get the pentakill? Here, Garen died, recall as many times as you can, uh, especially to try to keep that, uh, to keep that uh, buff coming up. So, I'm 2-0 here, I think if I get like 2 kills more, I get a... Uh, big but I didn't get uh, big in any moment in this game and by big you mean I mean the I don't know how that name is the fiery thingy on you but still uh, here I go farm the jungle a little bit more as you can see the clear speeds are insane and there should be an event starting soon uh, and the first one we're going to lose because of the unfortunate map planning. I mean look at the circle, okay? Why is the circle expanding? Okay, okay, it's coming now. Uh, so, as you can see, the mode is paranoia here, you can't really see it, but we can't see any of our teammates. Uh, and that's a problem, but not, not, that's why 
that's not the reason we lost this, but because it's literally near their frigging tower, so that's that's a problem right there. Uh, I can't see any of my teammates here, but you, you understand. It is not Barn Royale, it's Paranoia, okay? It's the one with with uh, no sight, no vision. You can see, I can barely see my teammates here, but still. Uh, the problem was that I did not see the tower and I got some tower shots. Look, that tower down there, it's annoying. There is also... No, look, that was weird. I just got tower shots for no reason, and then that no no charges is all time. Yeah, here should have ulted better. Could have kicked some people out, but they also had the plan. Anyway, uh, we're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose this one hard. We got aced. And here they should have won. They should have gone with this. We didn't kill a single person. Actually, maybe someone respawned, but I don't remember. Yeah, but still. Uh, moving on. Moving on. It's fun that this game mode usually lasts 15 minutes and usually you have to keep for the events your ultimate now. Here you can see I'm finishing, I'm finished the AP jungle item and going straight for the Oblivion Orb. I recommend this item. And also finish your sword boots as fast as you can and try, try to put a uh, Lyandry in between the, uh, the Morello and the sword boots or no, after the Morello and the sword boots. Actually, yes, that, that's the way, that's the way. Here. I almost died to that rise. I, you'll see that I recall often. I recall very often. And I'm gonna speed it up when I'm recalling because it's really, really not important. I really want to get to the next event. The next event is pretty fun. Okay, here I get the blue buff. This is extremely important. You can easily secure buffs with Tulia. You have to try to secure them as often as possible. Here, Garen is a free target, but his speed is really annoying. Thresh also did some good hooks. Uh, I'm not sure if he kills. Okay, that. That uh, Caitlyn buff is especially annoying. It makes us recall very often because the damage is ridiculous. Another recall. As you can see here, I'm to slowly progressing towards my Morello. And here, uh, I'm getting nonsense damage again. Rise lives. Again, I have to recall because there is a Caitlyn buff that comes from turrets and cannons and it's annoying and you can hear it again we got the buff after the next event also so we get it okay that that's the cannon that's the culprit okay you can hear the new event wrapping up you can see it in the replay as far as i'm concerned but you can hear it and this one is going to be really fun but first ah that there was the problem look at the twisted fate it's, it's big it has the buff and that's going to be a problem. Unless you kill this players and they are really good, they can carry it so they can they can win the game and oh boy. This guy got caught here. This event is easier for us because it's here. Uh it's not that easy at first. Because as you can see here I'm getting demolished, but I can have time to come back. Because my team, as you can see here, they get some kills. And this guy will deal a lot of... Actually, he hit the minion, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm coming back soon. I have time for it. Uh, this guy here deals way too much damage, to be real. But, there's not a problem yet, because I'm coming. I'm coming right now, here, where I am. Okay, let's move. Let's move towards it. Come on. Here, I'm doing a nice salt to secure the kill on Rise. He still dies. I think. No, he doesn't. Okay. So I thought I'd secure the kill there. But still, I have enough time here to actually defend. I gotta get hit by the card, will I not guess? And also that. But here I know there is a Z, so I have to move back, okay? I have to pass I have to pass some uh, some time here. Uh, but then you can see my team starts to get on it and Z has cooldowns. It's really okay here for us to... He can't join it, because if he does, he's going to instantly die. He can kill me, he can surely kill me. Oh boy. Here I recall again, because I have time. But I think before I get there, yeah, they're going to win the event. And we also get the Kitlin buff. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, I don't know, Rise went full life here. And I barely live, but I live. I, I decide to push, because... Why not? I also steal that buff again. Actually, me and Lucian. 
And we're going to cast it a bit faster. I cast it, that's over. Okay, moving around, going for some kills. You can see they actually have advantage here, by all accounts. I'm not sure if the score is in our favor. It's not, actually. But, but yeah, we have uh, this... Uh, this scaling a bit, I guess, with Lucian and Yasuo and Echo, they, they scale better. And then went also full tank, that's going to be a problem. He's a CC bot, but yeah. Okay, I know Zed is there, but I position accordingly. I think Nuno disconnected here. I think that's a reason we actually won. Uh, but yeah, we need to get that list of fate. It is not a problem though, Thresh also disconnected and he will probably correct connect. Garo, however, just runs around the map. And here, I did not understood why Rise went like that. Okay, I still got the kill. I did not get big in this game. I hate it. I really love the game mode, though. It's extremely fun. I played a lot of Fiddlesticks, which is hilarious, by the way. I won the next event. The next event is epic, I promise you. And as you can see, the game is soon over as well. So yeah, it's a short video. That's, that's beautiful. Well, mildly short compared to my usual. So yeah, again, there is a push the cart event, okay? Watch the ultimate I'll do. As the Lia, in this event, this is your favorite event because you can push that with your uh, with your ultimate. You can push that with your W. And here, look at this ultimate, okay? I want you to look what happens here. Look at this. So the Scuttle gets pushed there and because he's off path, we're gonna get some ridiculous speeds. Look at this. Okay, dash. <laughs> and dash again to lane, okay? That that secured an, a massive advantage, actually. And then all I have to do here is to one or two times push this with W. Where is it? I don't even see it. Oh, here. But yeah, momentarily, uh, I'm don't, I don't have any mana, so, <laughs> so that's a real problem for us there. But, as you can see, my team starts to turn this around, and Caitlyn ults also help from random places on the map uh, but yeah Thresh also does the very good job I'm gonna die here there is no way I could live here but the good thing is that there's only Thresh that's a full tank Thresh almost actually yeah full tank Thresh trying to you know there was no way we could lose this and there you go he also had the Zillian buff from the event yeah I think he killed the Twisted Fate. Here from this point, the game is pretty much over. What I noticed, however, is that their spawn times after a certain minute are huge. They are scaling with levels, so as it is normal actually. So yeah. And as you can see more here, I am where can I see my level, Jesus? Just respawn me already. I am level 16 while Yasu was 14, uh, actually 15, but 16 as well. So I'm pretty well regarding my teammates. That is 14 because he didn't farm at all. Nono is pretty low as well. I still farm like a madman. I get the buff. As you can see my build here. I have the full damage build and whoops too fast. And let's watch what happens. Look at the slow how powerful it is in this game mode. I can just sit back and just just hit that. And that was a bad kill but yeah, he's probably going to die as well. And here we just won by this point, because three members of their team are dead here. It starts soon to ping like a maniac on that buff. Because if Nono dies here, then we have the free... I died here to that. We have the free, uh, free buff. And here is exactly what you should do, especially when you get all the advantage. Always go for the buff when you have time. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just doing this. And then I tried to secure that, but some echo, no, go away, nah, he stole it, no chance. And then we just recall one more time, uh, I go for Lyandry last item, but it's not necessarily, there are options, okay, Zonia is also an option, especially against that, but still. Here I do a horrible, horrible double, this game mode is especially good to practice as well, I recommend it, because you do jungle and you do a lot of Ws, so it's, it's a practice tool, okay? It's an enhanced practice tool. I really hope you can hear me though, because this sounds really loud. And here, as you can see, the game is over, and we won. Uh, we are probably winning because of their team comp, but 
who am I to talk about? I played decent, so I got rewarded for it, I guess. I had the lowest amounts of deaths and a lot of kill participation compared to others. I still, I'm still not first at kill participation, but I'm there. So that's about it for this game. I'm going to make more games of, like this if you want to see how to actually, you know, win with Talia in this game mode or in other game modes. Like Summer's Re Okay, no. No, I, I, I don't really like Talia at this moment on mid lane in that game mode, but yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and this is Talia on Nexus Blitz. I really hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.